So in one of our last videos, I think two videos ago, we talked about um, the young woman who wrote in and said she didn't get wet anymore and she didn't want to use lubricant. And we advocated, like you've been advocating for decades, Yes. the yeah. Um, yeah. introduction additional. of addition. And you like oil. Almond oil is what you use. You can use apricot oil, all these other oils, coconut oil, avocado. But we like oil. Now, yeah. and they say that you can't use oil with latex. So then what happens? We get all these comments saying, you guys are irresponsible educators because you're not telling people that you need to use a water-soluble lubricant with a condom because the oil can compromise the condom and have it rip. Okay. If you've ever read the label on water-based lubrication... It's full of chemicals and disgusting things. It's terrible. You don't want to use that on a regular basis. Uh... The other thing is, is that I wore a diaphragm throughout the sexual revolution, and we always used oil, and my diaphragm never broke down. So I'm not saying that, yes, if, if the man has a condom, that it's probably better to use... The water side. The water, yes. And what is the one that we were promoting that was... had? To oh, Slickwoods. Slickwood. It has the least number of chemicals in it. But there was a little bit of... A a large part of me that got really pissed off, and I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> I resent, as an educator, that when we talk about sex, we have to always go back to cock-in-the-hole, procreative, heteronormative sex. We yeah, leave right. a lot of different sex acts off the table, yeah. a lot of different people of masturbation, same sex, oral sex, all these different things. We cut them right off because we always have to go back to penis vagina, and if we don't tell straight people how to have safe sex, we're irresponsible. <laughs> I think at this point, everyone knows how to have safe sex. Really, it's boring, and you know what? Most people don't use condoms. Can we be frank? Well, not if you're not if you're in a relationship. The people in a relationship, the people who are married, the people who are gay, the people who are trans, the people who don't have vagina penis sex, all of those people aren't using condoms. But we have to limit our discussion or always make sure we touch back. <laughs> and always remind everyone to have safe sex. Well, you have to remember that this was... The whole thing with AIDS, just the, the government just grabbed onto that because it was the perfect way to control the population, to shut us down. Because let's face it, having good sex is very liberating, and you, it's hard to control a population that is sexually expressive. So we know this. And you know, if I have to use a condom with someone... I'd rather not have sex. I'd rather not have sex. <laughs> I'd rather share masturbation. I have hand jobs or hand job, yeah. Really? Oral. And not even oral. You know what? If I can't, if I have to fuck you with a condom, I don't want to kiss you and I don't want to suck your genitals. Let's just jerk each other off. Or share masturbation. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I go. If I'm really going to have sex where I'm talking about reaching heights of orgasm, I'm going to be with someone I trust. Yeah. Right? It doesn't make sense to have sex with someone you don't trust. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I just, I'm tired of it as an educator. Well, I'm just so yeah. tired of the PC sex talk. I'm so sick of it. It's an excuse to, to avoid discussing sexual technique. Yeah. It's an excuse to avoid talking about pleasure. It's an excuse to avoid talking about orgasm. It monopolizes the conversation. And does water soluble lube feel good on your clit, Betty? Ugh. <laughs> no. No, and it and it, it dries and then it gets sticky. Oh, it's and then gross. what they they make the big mistake of putting more more lube on and then you really got a gunky gooey oh, mess. Disgusting. So what you if you are using a water based lube and it dries out and get just put a little saliva or dip your fingers in a little No bowl. no no you couldn't do that because you could catch something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead and catch it. <laughs> you have to you have to keep it wet. So you have to don't. Well all I have to say is my clit likes oil. Oh, there's no contest. There's no contest. I mean, oh, absolutely no. So I'm not going to sit here and get on a, a soapbox and promote water-soluble boobs and condoms. I'm sick of it. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Well, that's why it's better to have a person, one person or a couple of people that you're having sex with repeatedly so you have a relationship. 
if you're going to go around and, you know, fucking discriminately. That's great, but you're not really likely to have an orgasm there. At all. Mm -mm. <laughs> so you, I don't care. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be servicing some dude who, they can come much yeah. easier. So, they, so they're jerking off inside your vagina or... And let's face it, it's very rare that someone just puts on the condom. You usually have to demand. It's just the whole thing. I'm sick of it. It's just, it's, it's the sex rules. It's the discrimination against women. It's just so symbolic to me of the whole crap that's wrong. Anyway. Good. I'm glad you got that off your chest. <laughs> I was so pissed off. Last. I was reading the comments of the YouTube clip and I was like, I'm so sick of the heteronormative, procreative, and they don't talk, we can't talk about anything else but that. Fuck you. I know. I know. It's it's pretty sad when you think about it, that it can only be penis, vagina, penis, vagina. There's so many things that two bodies can play with. It's, it's just, endless, the yeah, possibilities. Yeah. And we just keep going back to the procreative model. It, boring. It is. It is boring. <laughs> and then at the end of that, if you come full circle, there's nothing better than a good hot fuck. Of course. But I have to have my vibrator on my clitoris. And a little bit of oil. A lot. Oh, I said it. I <laughs> use oil. <laughs> you know, I I went through the sexual revolution with the diaphragm, and we. You used know what? Oil. I have a diaphragm, and I use oil. I know it's not PC, but I'm going to say it. And it never broke down. No. <laughs> so we just have to kind of take everything with a grain of salt. Yes, we know what safe sex is, but we want to know more about what orgasmic sex is. <gasps> oh, how refreshing! Orgasmic sex. <laughs> so you just keep listening to us and we'll tell you more and more things you can do that are fun and 